All right, we're so glad that you guys joined us tonight. Today, we are going to be talking about a day in the life of an oiler. So, um, we will be sharing our stories about how we have used essential oils in our life. Tonight, we are only speaking of Young Living Essential Oils, Young Living. And so that's what our stories are about. That's where our stories come from because of the purity. We love Young Living because um, of the way that they're made. And Amber's going to tell us about that in just a second. But at the same time, we want you to use safety with the oils and we want you to use them properly. So make sure to um, talk more to the person who ever invited you to this um, video and to this event that um, you're using them properly. Tonight, we have a giveaway. Stay tuned all the way to the end and we're giving away three wellness consults with the Now What book. This is a great book that helps us walk through our body systems and helps guide you in what to order and how to use your essential oils. So three people are going to get a free wellness consult and a 90 step, 90 day um, wellness plan at the end of this call. So make sure and stay tuned all the way to the end. And three of you are going to be very blessed. All right. Now we're going to hear from Amber about all about why we need to choose Young Living. Let me see if I can find her and pin her video. <laughs> there you go. Hey. hey, everybody. So when I first started deciding that I wanted to get toxins out of my life and that we wanted more natural solutions, it, the first thing you, and you want oils, you're like, well, which oils? Which oils are the best ones? Which ones should I buy? Are they all the same? Are some better than others? Why are some more expensive than others? And so when I reached out to my friend, she told me why. And so the US does not have a rating system for essential oils. So the FDA pretty much regulates food and drug and supplements and oils don't fall into that category. So when you're buying supplements and oils, it's so, so important to trust the company that you're buying them from because they can basically say almost anything they want to on the labels and a lot of the words that they use to try to draw people in like pure therapeutic natural are not regulated words so they can mean whatever they want them to mean and they don't necessarily mean what you might think which is that you're hoping they're 100 percent pure but the only thing that we have in the united states is an FDA requirement that says that in order for an oil to be labeled pure or therapeutic, that it has to have a minimum of 5% essential oil in it, which is scary because then that means 95% of what's in that bottle, you really don't have any idea what it is. So it might be water, it might be chemicals, it might be alcohol, it might be something harmful, or it might just be something that you're paying for for no reason and it may be why your oil is so cheap you know is because really there's not that much essential oil in it and so young living has what we call the seed to seal promise and it is a process in which it's a promise of integrity and so it's basically telling you this is what we're doing to this oil and from the time that it's in the soil to the seed, to the distillation process, to the time that it's put in the bottle and sealed. The seed to seal promise is that no chemical or toxin or weed killer or pesticide is ever going to touch that oil or that plant ever. And so the fields are hand weeded. I don't know what other company in the world can say that about their fields, that they're hand weeded, um, which is, a costly process obviously and is going to mean you're getting more for your money because you're paying for the quality and you're paying for the peace of mind that you know where that oil came from and that is completely safe for you and your family and your children and your pets and wherever else you want to use the oils. It also says that those plants are harvested at their peak therapeutic time 
and that they are distilled for the exact amount of time that that plant needs to be its most therapeutic. Most other companies are going to distill them for the cheapest and the fastest way that they can turn a buck. And they don't really care how therapeutic it is and how um, long it would take for it to get the best product. And so it's also on-site tested by Young Living and third-party tested. And the standards that they use are more rigorous than the USDA organic standards. So that is why we chose Young Living. That's why we'll never use anything but Young Living products that have oils in them. And the kicker is that you can also go to their farms, visit their farms, and see for yourself. I challenge you to call another company and see if you can do that. Because I only know of maybe one other that would even allow you in, and they still are not as transparent as Young Living. You can go pretty much any day, any time, call them and schedule a time to go see the farms, see the plants, see the distillery, and talk to the people who work there, and know that you can trust that company and exactly what they're doing. And we, I did get to go last summer and for convention and visit them myself, and it was a really great experience to get to go there and see where the products that I use are actually coming from. And so that is why we trust Young Living and Young Living Only. Very good. Great information too. And, um, and that's what's important about the purity and equality is knowing. I always like to know where my food comes from too. So know your farmer. Well, we know our farmers. And so that's yep. the, the confidence that we have. Very good. Also something tonight is you're going to see white labels and you're going to see colored labels. And these are also um, guidelines from the FDA. They, we can't say that you can do all the great, wonderful things with peppermint. The, um, just like we can't say that you can take this internally because this one, the Vitality brand is labeled for oral consumption. This one's for topical aromatic. However, just as Amber mentioned, the process of distillation, these were distilled from the same batch. So it's the same oil, it's just two different labels. And so you can choose to use them how you feel suit. So let me tell you all about how we use peppermint, but how we also use Panaway. So Panaway, and like we said, this is a day in the life. So this is gonna be one of my stories all of this, all of these are true stories from us and how we've used them in our lives. Panaway is great for anything that we may have pain in our body. So why it has clove, which numbs, it has wintergreen that actually goes in and helps um, to, to take the pain away. And then it has um, heliochrism to go in and actually help repair. So when have we used Panaway? Our most common time to use it is surgeries or oral um, um, procedures. We've had wisdom teeth cut out, we've had extractions, and when we know that's coming, now sometimes it comes and you don't, you're not ready for it, but we take pan away and we put it on our jaw and on our face, and we do this two or three times a day prior to the extraction or the surgery. And uh, my husband had his wisdom teeth cut out and we did it um, two or three times a day for two weeks leading up to his surgery. He never had bruising, he never had swelling and his face didn't even turn yellow. Like a lot of times it'll bruise and turn yellow. And it was amazing because, and it was funny because when we walked in to have the oral surgery, she even said, oh, I smell you before I saw you. Well, good, because that's what we did. And so we put the pan away on him and then I paired it with peppermint to drive that in because peppermint can actually be used to drive oils in a little bit deeper. And so if you put something on and you wanna give it a little bit more added effect, add a little bit of peppermint to it. Um, pan away. Um, is also great for, we've had broken arms. We apply it to the broken arms. That heliochrism is gonna help restore that bone and those muscles and those tissues. 
So if you can think of your bones and your muscles, think Panaway because it's amazing. It's one that we really love to use at our house, but especially for all the many times we've had oral um, procedures. It's also great sometimes whenever you just go to the dentist and you know your mouth is gonna be open for a while and just putting it on the jaw ahead of time and then using it afterwards. Um, another one of our favorites is um, Valor, and someone will talk to you a little bit more about that. But that's another one that we add whenever we add with it. Um, our two other things that are outside the starter kit that we use, um, Deep Relief is another favorite, and Copaiba. And those are other ones that we have, that we use a lot for, my son recently had his tonsils taken out, and so we used it down his neck, and we used it on the outside of his mouth, and we used Copaiba Vitality on the inside of his mouth to help his body repair naturally. So now I'm going to pass it over to Kayla. Tell us all about Raven. Okay, so Raven, I'm going to tell you a personal story about how we use Raven um, in, our, in our home. Um, I struggle with allergies. I've always struggled with allergies um, as far back as I can remember, but it got really bad when I moved from the very northern part of our state, about 10 minutes to the state line, down to south central Arkansas. And if you know anything about south central Arkansas, we got mosquitoes and we got pollen. That's, that's kind of what we're known for down here. Like it's, it's hot and you sneeze a lot. Um, so I personally love Raven for those times when I feel super stuffy, we keep it diffusing, we, you know, we, we keep it going pretty much all the time between my husband and I and our daughter. Um, it's got, it's, it really doesn't have, for a blend, it does not have that many ingredients in it. It's got camper, it's got lemon, it's got wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus. Now, my personal, it's not a favorite story, but it is a story that I tell a lot um, because it was just kind of one of those wow moments in our lives. Um, like I said, we struggle with allergies. We struggle with sinus stuff whenever um, we go outside. <laughs> like 365, we struggle a lot with our sinus stuff. But our toddler, she turns three tomorrow. She has struggled. Sorry if you can hear my dogs. Uh, she has struggled her whole life, worse than Garrett and I ever had. Well, it, when she was just over a year old, um, she got to the point where her allergies had turned to croup. And we woke up in the middle of the night, she was burning up, uh, she couldn't breathe. She, her trachea had completely steepled off. Um, she, she could not breathe at all. And so at that point we were oiling up, we were, we were trying to get to the hospital, but she still needed to get to the hospital. So. I made it a point to put oil blends, specifically Raven, um, some others like um, any of the eucalyptus, Breathe Again, or um, RC, all through our house. But Raven is one, it comes in the starter kit. So I knew I had multiple bottles because I had a few starter kits at that point, And I knew it's super inexpensive. I was like, I'm stocking up on this. So the next time, because there's a next time, if you got a croupy kid, it's gonna happen again, right? So the next time she uh, she woke up and she couldn't breathe, it was Thanksgiving morning this past year at two something in the morning. And I felt her, um, I knew she had a fever. I, um, I felt her chest, it felt tight with her wheezing and I flipped on the light, I grabbed the Raven and I instantly started massaging it into the tops of her feet, all over her feet really, but the tops of her feet, that's the best point for anything respiratory. Started rubbing it in and I started getting it all over her back. I had Garrett go turn on the shower as hot as he could get it, get that steam going and we went and sat in there for a while. Five minutes in, he's a nurse, he's in nurse practitioner school, but he freaks out when it's, when it's our kid. So he, he's like, I'm going to the car. I'm getting the car started. We've got, we've got to go to children's. We've got to go to children's because it got so bad last time. We almost didn't make it to the hospital in time for her because she had stopped breathing. So I was like, okay, just go. I'm going to, I'm going to keep oiling her up. So I'm oiling her up. We get her in the car. I throw the bottle of oil at him. And I said, 
keep putting this on her feet. Keep putting this on her feet. We rolled the windows down back there for that really cold air and we are on our way to children's. Um, we get there and no, I don't expect, I wasn't expecting what I started hearing from, from the back seat. So on our end of Little Rock, children's is like three minutes after rolling into Little Rock. So we pull off the exit and Garrett's like, Winnie, are you sleeping? And she's like, no, I'm awake. And it's like, what? Like very clear, very, she's fine. She starts giggling, she's laughing. We roll into the parking lot and he's like, okay, okay, let's get inside. Who's gonna be in the ER on Thanksgiving morning, super early in the morning, like, let's go. She's like, okay, dad, she's laughing. She takes off running across the parking lot, laughing, breathing, playing fine. And he looks at me and he goes, I can't be that nurse that brings my kid to the hospital when there's nothing wrong with them. So, oh, happy Thanksgiving, let, let's go home. And we got in the car and he was like, that stuff worked that stuff worked and it had um you know between putting it on her feet putting it on her back the cold air you know all the tricks trick tricks and tips that they give you um it works and every time after that that she even started sounding wheezy or sneezy or any of the noises that they make we just started putting raven on her constantly she smells like eucalyptus 100% of the time, depending on the, on the time of year, and we're okay with it, because it works for us, and we absolutely love it. Um, yeah, inexpensive, mom's best friend when it comes to a kid who needs a little loving on the respiratory system. That's all I've got. Pass it over to Lisa. All right. Hey, I'm going to talk to you for just a few minutes about one of my favorite oils. This is frankincense. Um, I guess I should have switched my video around. It's backwards, but it's okay. Um, so I use this twice a day, and there's two totally different uses that I have this for. Um, so when I get up in the morning and get around and get going, I have my quiet time where I read some devotionals, and I do some Bible reading, and I have some prayer time. And thanks to my friend Amanda for teaching me this little uh, tip, but I have started taking frankincense and I'll put a drop in my palm, rub my palms together and just breathe it in through my nose, hold it for about four seconds, breathe out, hold my breath, and I'll do that about four times. And it just, it really helps get me grounded and get me centered and I don't have that mind wandering where you're trying to concentrate on something, but your mind just keeps going in 10 different directions because, you know, life happens. And um, so I've been doing this frankincense, I think about two or three weeks now, and it's just wonderful for keeping me focused and gathered and centered and um, just really keeping my mind on Christ where it needs to be at that time. And so one of my absolute favorite for uses for frankincense. My other one is my skincare. Um, I have been in Young Living a little over three years, and in that time, I have never purchased a bottle of frankincense, but I have four of them sitting on my shelf. I have two frankincense and two sacred frankincense that I've always gotten free from Young Living, which is great because I use it every single day on my face. Um, I hope all of you ladies that wear makeup wash your face every single night, very, very important. Um, and for probably the last two or three years, I have been making my own um, face serum at night. And it is frankincense, lavender, and usually myrrh or patchouli or whatever um, Young Living happens to send me free. There's so many great skincare ones that, I mean, you'll never run out of skincare uh, oils. But that's what I have right now is frankincense, lavender, myrrh, and a little empty um, 15 mil bottle and then I'll top it off with some jojoba oil and I put that on my face every night and I have been doing that for probably two years and I am 47 and I have never gotten so many compliments on my skin as I do now. Um, I hear it all the time about how great my skin looks and people can't believe how old I am. So it really is nourishing for your skin but it's also great for wrinkles. I feel like I just I don't have a lot of wrinkles on my face especially here around my eyes. 
And uh, I think that's really part of the frankincense because while the other ones that I kind of switch out, you know, frankincense, um, I switch out the myrrh, the patchouli, whatever I happen to have, but it's always frankincense. Frankincense is always there every single night on my face. So ladies, if you would like to amp up your skincare, you need to try frankincense. And you don't even have to get all DIY like I do and make your own because almost all, I think almost all of Young Living's skincare products have frankincense in them. Um, this is the Art Cleanser, which another thing that I got free um, through beauty school. I love this stuff. This is actually my second bottle. It has frankincense in it. So does all the Art products have frankincense in them. There's a, a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, I think a couple different moisturizers, they've all got frankincense in them. And there's a reason, it's because frankincense is amazing for your skin. It's in the Boswellia wrinkle cream, it's in the Wolfberry eye cream, and it's in the brand new Bloom products that Young Living just came out with. And I'm ashamed to say I got this set in, well, whenever they came out with it at convention, like two weeks ago, and I haven't even used it yet, it's terrible. But excited to try all this new Bloom stuff. It all has frankincense in it. Um, but I'm using my art right now and I figured I'll just keep using this. And once this is out, I'll switch over to my Bloom, which I'm really excited about. But um, anyway, so my favorite, favorite, favorite frankincense. Hope you guys have it, try it, love it. All right, guys, I am gonna come at you with a couple of things. I'm gonna come at you with Nature Red. For those of y'all who have not tried it, everybody wave if you've drank the wonderful red juice, okay? It is amazing. If you have not tried this, you need, yes, you need to do this. So it does come in the large, these are very nice heavy duty glass bottles and it comes in a little travel package. My husband likes to drink it from out of the bottle when we're here at the house, but I like to grab these on the go because I'm like not the best morning person and I'm headed out the house and my whole Manisha, so I grab my packet grab an extra one to do later. Um, but it is amazing. It is um, one of the things that we will never be without in our house again. Um, I did it on um, a challenge where I used it for 30 days. And when I, I decided, oh, I'll not buy that again this time. I ended up with brain fog. I was dragging. I was like, oh my word, what is wrong with me? And so I figured it out. I wasn't drinking Mingxia anymore. So I had my husband start it. And I don't know about anybody else on here, but my husband wasn't against the oils, but he was like, oh, I don't know, and all that, you yeah, know. So if your husband is questionable out there or anybody else, they have to have an experience of their own. They got to have something that you can help them with that makes them go, oh, that really works, right? So this one was one of my husband's aha moments. He started drinking it, and then the next thing I know was he said, I don't know what's in this stuff, but I haven't felt this good in years, he said. And so he, he he'll tell me, I just put the last bottle in the fridge. Did you put it on your order? He will not let me run out of Nixure Red ever again. Um, same story for Sulfurzyme, but that's a different story. Um, but anyway, I'm going to read off because it does so many different things. I don't want you to miss out, but think about... Think about the crazy times we live in, okay, when I read off this. So it's an antioxidant drink, very powerful, and it works to prevent oxidative stress. Those are two things I don't have time to explain. Go look them up. Antioxidants and oxidative stress, okay? That's your Google for later tonight. So it's going to give you energy and help you support every body system that you have, okay? It revitalizes every body system. How does it do that? Because it supports normal cellular function. We're made up of a whole bunch of cells, right? This makes them all work better. Easy story, right? So if this makes it work better, this also means if you're trying to be healthier, if you're drinking more water, if you're taking supplements, if you're doing anything else, this is going to help everything else work better, okay? So it makes everything else work. So what does it support? Get your, get your little pencil ready. It's your endocrine system your cardiovascular system, your musculoskeletal system. It also supports normal eye health. So if you don't wanna wear the little granny glasses, start drinking your Mingxia Red, okay? It also supports your immune system. 
think about it, immune system, right? It also does your digestive system. It improves your metabolism. It gives you respiratory support. Thinking again, respiratory support, right? It also gives you mental clarity, concentration, alertness, and it just boosts your energy and gives you longevity, okay? Need I say more? There it is. Okay, second one real quick, digize. This is one of the main reasons I started oils. This along with some emotional assistance, digize was our next go-to oil, okay? Because it's digize means digestion. So everything to have to do with digestion. If you eat it and it goes in, it's got to come out eventually. This does everything in between, okay? All the processes in between. That's the easiest way to say it, right? So there are two, it comes two ways. This is the topical one. This is the imaginary vitality because I can't find it in my house right now. One of my kids has it, which tells you it works because my kids will go find it. But our favorite thing to do, my, my son and I who have the most digestive issues will take the, the vitality oil, drop a couple drops under our tongue. Within minutes, literally minutes, we will feel so much better. Again, all things tell me, can't go to the bathroom, that's my son. Go to the bathroom too much, that's me gas, bloating, ate too much, went out to eat, ate something you don't normally eat, all digize. The cool thing about essential oils, and I'll bring this up real quick with digize, is their job is to get your body to homeostasis. That means back to normal, right? So this is me. Okay, here's homeostasis. This is where we should be. This is me. This is my son. Enter digize, and we both come back to okay. So unlike normal medicines and regular things you buy in the store, you don't need one for constipation, one for diarrhea, one for gas, one for bloating, one for reflux, one for this, one for that. One oil. That's all you need for everything. And so this is now my husband's next go-to. He eats a big meal and goes, where's the digest? So every time. So digest equals digestion. Y'all remember that. I'm going to pass it off to Pam. For me, she's over there. Okay, I'm going to be talking about Stress Away. Um, it is honestly what brought us to Young Living was for our daughter and um, just how she was having a lot of anxiety issues, different stresses in her life, and different things like that. So Stress Away was really our oil that sold us on so many things with helping her and coming to find out I needed a little stress away too. So it became one of my, <laughs> my favorite as well. And literally the name says it all stress away, right? And stress comes in so many factors and it can come on just like this when we don't even realize it. And so for me, um, I like to make sure that I'm supportive first thing in the morning. So I put it on straight. And then if I'm working in my, at my desk, I have a roller bottle that, you know, is diluted that I can put on. I have them in the car. Um, I have them some in the family room just because you never know. So for me, it just keeps, like Melinda said, it just keeps me at this really nice, happy state, which when I'm happy, and when I'm calm, you know, the environment is much better um, around here in the house. And um, my daughter absolutely still loves it. Um, four years later, she's still, that's her go-to oil. She has said if it would come in a gallon, she would just like bathe in it so much. So for us, we add it to lotions. So um, like the lavender lotion, it's really good to add it to that um, for, Again, getting the stress away on you and stuff. We diffuse it all the time, If um, especially when we're getting ready to go to bed. It's great for diffusing and just calming us down. Um, but really, yeah, it's, or we'll put it on our jewelry. I mean, we just use it wherever we need to, and we just really just keep it going because we know that we process this oil just like we would anything else we metabolize it so we need to keep ourselves supported throughout the day and so it's really important to keep that in mind so that we're not catching um, whatever feelings we have going on that we are supported throughout it so we just make sure that you know we're aware of it so our always we remember you know morning noon and night is the main thing because that's about every three or four hours but if something happens and if you have lots of stress sometimes it just picks up and you don't know so then you just put some more on um but it's just our go-to oil for all things stressful okay i don't know who's next um 
Christy. 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 Let's see if I can find her. There she is. Okay. Okay. I think I'm unmuted. Hello, everybody. Um, my oil of the night is lavender. Um, this is considered the Swiss Army knife of oils. It is literally good for everything. <laughs> um, it's very calming. It's very soothing. It's great for um, children. It's great for at night when you have to use it. Um, I tend to put it in actually an allergy capsule that I make for myself. I do um, some lemon, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Um, but my main thing that I love, because I'm just that type of person that just needs her peaceful time, my bath time, bath bombs. So bath bombs, I just realized that I'm getting low on this, but I have stress away bath bombs as well. So Pam, there you go. But um, I break up my, the stress, the bath bombs into little pieces. So I get more bang for my buck. There's about I believe there's four um, bath bombs that come in here and I break it into three to four pieces depending on my mood and how much I need to be relaxed. But I will tell you that I don't take a bath too early, especially if you have children. I did that, made that mistake once. It's like seven o'clock. I had just put my son to sleep and I almost fell asleep in the tub and I still had my daughter downstairs. I was going to put her to bed. I was like, oh no, I can't fall asleep yet. But I also wanted to add just a couple other things. Lavender is in a lot of Young Living products. Um, chapstick is great to have in the kitchen for those hot items you may have in the kitchen. It's good for your lips after you've been out in the sun too long. There's lavender lotion. And I don't know if you noticed this little thing in my nose. It's a little, it's not gross, don't worry. You can't even see it. it's clear. It's a little nose ring with lavender on it. So, um, especially moms with kids, that's where it's at. You need a lavender. Yes, Amanda actually has it. I didn't get the box with me, but I have the, I don't know if anybody can see it, so I have to zoom in my, on my nose. How pleasant is that? But anyways, lavender is where it's at. Everybody needs some lavender in their life. And so I was at the playground tonight with my kids. We went to a church thing, ice cream social, whatever. And this one lady's like, I smell lavender. Where do I smell lavender? And I'm, and she's like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. She's like, you look so cool with a nose ring. But yet you're not that cool because you don't really have a nose ring. <laughs> so that's my little ditty on uh, lavender. But everybody needs lavender bath bombs. And there are stress away bath bombs too that are amazing. So. That's my two cents. <laughs> Amanda, I'm going to pass it on to you since you're so on cue. <laughs> I love those lavender aroma rings too. I used one the other day when I was doing paperwork and I felt like I could pay attention way better and was more alert and lavender is good for that too. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Peace and Calming. Peace and Calming is one that comes in the starter kit. And the first time I saw this oil used that made me a believer that it was amazing was at this weekend retreat thing and my friend and I were there and she had a, I think her baby was around three months old and she, I don't know if she was teething or what, but she was so unhappy, the poor little baby. If she wasn't nursing, she was basically fussing or full on crying almost the whole time. We'd been there for like 12 hours at, the at this point and Molly Moses was there too. And she walked up and at this time, Peace and Calming was out of stock, had been out of stock for a long time, but she had like a few little sample packets. So she opened up a sample packet and just put it on the back of the baby's head and rubbed it down her spine. Cause we had, the um, my friend had taken the baby's clothes off, just trying to think of anything that would make her happy. And she, within probably 30 seconds, the baby just calmed down and we were all kind of like, what? And she stayed calm for like hours when she had literally only been happy for a few minutes after nursing for hours and hours and hours while we were all there. So it was amazing. So the way this fits into our daily life is I have five kids and we homeschool. So I am with them 24 seven. Okay, so <laughs> 
we will diffuse this sometimes during the day. I like to rotate through whatever we're going to diffuse that day. Um, so I usually have something in there that's good for calming, something in there that's good for emotions, and something in there that also can help the brain concentrate because since we homeschool, it covers all of it, my crazy, all of our emotions and them concentrating. So peace and calming is one that I always, probably about once a week, I'll throw in there to be our calming element to what's in our diffuser. I'll also diffuse it at night sometimes. It smells really good. Some oils, kids may not like the smell of. Peace and calming is one that most kids love the smell of. So my husband has also used this when he's not feeling good emotionally, like really overwhelmed or feeling stressed. So this is a good one for any age. And I would say it's used in our house at least a few times a week, just whenever we feel the need or just throwing it in the diffuser. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about, hold on to your britches. Everyone get ready, because I've got a few stories for this sucker. Progescence Plus, it is amazing. So first I'll just tell you what it is. It is a serum. It has several essential oils that are good for the endocrine system. So that means it helps all your hormones. And it also has bioidentical progesterone from yams. So what that means is that it's things found in nature that God made that act like progesterone in our body to help our bodies find balance, our hormones. Most of us are low in progesterone. So most women, when they start using this, feel major differences. So for me, I started using it back when I, I think I was pregnant. No, I was, it was after I had my fourth child. And I have had postpartum depression multiple times. Only after one of my kids did I not have postpartum depression. So I was on medicine at the time. We had just found oils. I didn't really know how to use them that well, but I heard this could help with mood. So I started using it and it's made me feel so much better. I started being able to wean off my medicine and slowly, I did it very carefully, but as I was able to get off my anxiety medicine that I had to get on from postpartum depression using this. I also found it helped me with all sorts of stuff. I just felt happier in general. I felt like I wanted more date nights with my husband, if you know what I mean. That's another thing that low progesterone would do to you. So it became a daily part of my life. There were times of the month where I only needed like a drop or two every morning. Then I could tell when my stress level was higher or when I was at a point in the month that I needed more progesterone. I would use more of it and I would just, I still do, I play it by ear. If I'm not feeling good and I'm feeling out of balance, I'll use more, some days it's one, some days it's like five drops every hour or something. So a recent story of how this changed my life, again, and helped me, is I've had migraines off and on since I was a teenager. And I recently learned that most migraines, chronic migraines in women is a hormonal issue. So all the pain medicine, all that stuff, is just covering up but not actually fixing the cause of these migraines. So when I heard that, I actually heard it from the doctor who helped formulate this because he was specialized in migraines. And when he realized this, he realized women needed progesterone to help get rid of their migraines. So I started tracking my migraines and I realized I was having them the same week out of my cycle each month. So I started using more of this because I heard someone say that they use like 19 drops a day. And at the time I was using like maybe five drops a day. And I thought maybe this could help me. I'm just not using enough. So I started using four drops, like four to five times a day for that week that I was normally having migraines. And I stopped having migraines. And I was having at least two migraines every, during that week, every single month, where it was getting to where Excedrin wasn't working. My next step was to get on a really strong prescription medicine. But these made them go away. So this is a part of my daily life. Every morning I put a few drops on then throughout the day, if I need more, I use more. But this stuff for most women seriously changes their life and how they feel. So that's all I've got. Let me see who's up next. It is Mary. Hey, how's everybody? <clears throat> it's great to be here with you. And I hope that uh, you're having a great night. <clears throat> I'm going to be talking about uh, lemon oil, which is absolutely one of my favorite oils from the kit. And uh, it's so versatile. A, a sidebar, my maternal grandfather had orange and lemon groves in Florida. 
And so I've always been attracted to citrus for some reason. Uh, but when I got my kit and I found lemon oil in it, I said, hallelujah, because this was a, a fruit, you know, that I knew and an oil that I was going to love. Antioxidants. Melinda talked about them with Ningxia Red. This is a great antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. What are they good for? Antioxidants are great for working with free radicals. Uh, and those are the things that make us age and look old and get old on the outside and the inside before it's our time. So this is a great way to deal with antioxidants. If you choose to, you know, you can use this internally. Uh, I love it in water. Uh, you can find it in Vitality Drops, which are something really wonderful that you can come out with. Lemon Ladder Vitality Drops are a fabulous thing that you can add to water. Uh, it has electrolytes in it that come uh, from salts from the Great Salt Lake. They help to balance our body, make sure that we have everything that we need uh, in that regard. And all natural ways to keep our body in balance. You know when your electrolytes are out of whack, everything is out of whack. It's almost like if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Well, if your electrolytes are not happy, then and in tune, you're not going to be happy either. But what if, go back to lemon vitality. Uh, in your image, you're going to see that. Uh, you might choose to diffuse lemon oil because it's very uplifting. Uh, it's great for kids who study. I was a teacher for 40 years. And let me tell you, if you've got kids at home, everybody was a homeschool teacher this year, right? <laughs> The last nine weeks of school. God love you all. And uh, lemon aromatic topical would have been a great thing for you to have with your kids because if they can just open that jar, smell a little bit of that, it helps those brain cells to wake up, it helps them to focus, uh, to keep their mind on things, to be energized as well. And I find that to be uh, somewhat of a, a, a an oxymoron, I guess. How can you be focused and energized all at the same time? Because, you know, you think kids, energy, focus, they don't go together, but it works because the body knows what to do with lemon oil. Uh, but anyway, that's a great thing that you can do. Diffuse this, put it on kids. Uh, if you've got wearable jewelry, like earrings and things like that, you can put it on there. What do I do with my lemon vitality drops other than just put it in water? Well, one thing that I love to do, don't know about you, but I have problems with seasonal challenges all the time. Because in Arkansas, there is yellow season. I don't know if you have yellow season where you live, but we do here. And uh, yellow season means all the pine trees, all the hickory trees, all the oak trees, everything is spewing something at us, you know, and it can make us a little uncomfortable. So uh, I like to get these clear uh, veggie gel caps from Young Living, and I love to make my own capsules. I use Lemon Vitality, I use Lavender Vitality, and I use Peppermint Vitality uh, in a capsule, and I take those, and they just really support my body at that time of year, and that's something that you can do. Uh, you have some of those oils in your starter kit, and if you don't have the Vitality formula, then you can always order that, and then you can make your own capsules. Uh, 250 in a jar, easy to use. I highly recommend them. It's something that you can do that will help you, and you can make your own blends for whatever problem it is that you're having. That's a great thing. What else can you do with lemon oil? It's great for cleaning. It's very cleansing, not only to the body, but to everything in your house. Make a paste, baking soda, water, add some lemon oil to it, great countertop cleaner, uh, add it to your Epsom salts, it's very detoxifying, good for the body to draw toxins out, uh, helps clear your system, so many good things that go on with that. Uh, in the few oils that Young Living has, has that rind, the fruit, any citrus oil is going to be processed from the rind, so instead of coming from a uh, the fruit itself, the flower, the stem of the plant, the leaf, the root, the bark, or whatever, you're going to find that it comes from that. So uh, that is my suggestion to you about lemon oil. There's so many things you can do with it. If there was one oil uh, that I would take with me on a deserted island, I think it might be lemon. I used to say lavender, but uh, lemon is becoming one of my favorites. And, you know, all this stuff, y'all. It's just good. It's just good. So get your kid out, try it, find some new stuff, 
Have a great time with your lemon oil. And I'm going to pass off to Miss Hope. Hey, um, I'm going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite oils. I use it every single day, at least once a day, usually more than one time, and it is Thieves. There is the Vitality is this one, and there's also one, of course, um, in the bigger bottle, which is non-Vitality, but again, they're the same oil. Always remember that. It's fabulous. But Thieves is great for immunity, and during this time, everyone needs an immunity boost. Um, I use it especially a lot during the spring and summer months just because of um, of thieves. Again, I cannot use thieves enough. I love it, love it, love it. Um, but this is the Vitality. I use it all three ways um, that you can use oils. I diffuse it every single day lately. Um, I love the smell of it. It smells like Christmas and it just makes me happy. So I just love smelling it in general. Um, but I do put it in my diffuser. I love adding it with lemon. Again, it's the thieves and lemon just blend so well together. But it just, I feel like it's purifying my air. It smells amazing. Um, my sister has always called it her Christmas oil. And when we go out, anytime we go out, which isn't often lately because of the whole mess that's going on, but anytime we go out, I have a roller bottle with thieves in it and we put it on our feet. So my daughter, who's almost three, she turns three in just a few days, knows to put her feet up in the air when we go out so I can swipe her feet because that's what I do. And that way I know she's protected. She's got that immune boost that I don't have to worry about it it's because she's three and she loves touching things. She touches all the things in stores and anywhere else we're at. So this is such a great oil just to help it boost the immune um, system. And again, and it smells fabulous. Um, I also, um, there's a whole line through Young Living. I have just about every product the thieves in the thieves line. The cleaner is one that's fabulous. And I'm also going to be talking about the hand sanitizer. This is my bottle I got in my kit. You can tell it is well used. Um, I use this constantly. And then they also have it in the big bottle. So now I buy it in the big bottle just because it's cheaper this way. So I love to do it. And then I know I won't run out. So I can buy it. You can buy it online. You don't have to worry about stores running out. And this one isn't going to hurt you. It is fabulous. My daughter has put it in her mouth. She's three, just about three, and absolutely loves it. So I love um, this size. And this is why I buy it in the big bottle, just because it's there. I put it in all empty bottles. I have empty bottles I buy off of Amazon. But again, this I keep in my purse. This actually is in my wallet at all times. And my daughter knows to go to it when her hands are dirty. And best thing about it, it does not dry out your hands. I hated hand sanitizer. I hated it. Um, I was also a teacher until um, we moved to Arkansas, and I absolutely hated hand sanitizer because it stunk, because it was full of alcohol, and it smelled atrocious, and it dried my hands out like crazy, and this one, it smells fabulous. It smells like Christmas, and it doesn't dry it out. It's so moisturizing, and you use such a small amount. These bottles last forever because you use, I mean, empty, empty, like pea size amount for my hands. My husband, big guy, he uses less than a dime size amount at one time and it covers his entire hands. It is fabulous. I cannot say enough about how much I love this hand sanitizer because I know it's not hurting myself and it's not hurting my child. And that was one of the main reasons I went to oil. Sorry if I talk. You can hear her whining. Um, because hand sanitizers are terrible. They keep getting banned off the market. Um, they keep getting taken off the shelves. I keep reading things. Um, my mom does not use hand sanitizer um, from Young Living. And she's like, oh, one I had was just recalled. I'm like, well, if you bought this, you wouldn't have to worry about it. So she is now buying some hand sanitizer finally because she was like it keeps coming off the market but these are safe products and they're fabulous it works so good um the other one i use constantly and keep in my purse is the thieves spray this also comes in the starter kit and i use this in place of the hand sanitizer on shopping carts i use it on um the light switches that's one of um things i do i spray the lights um, I spray door handles constantly because door handles are nasty. They're gross. Um, I wish I had this when I was teaching. 
so I didn't have to use the other crap, the other sprays all the time that smelled atrocious. Again, this smells fabulous. I love it. Um, but again, I use it for um, just in general small surfaces too. Um, when I when I go out to eat, I'll spray it down. And I don't have to worry about what's on the table because I know it's my thieves and I know it's safe if my daughter does put it in her mouth. Um, again, and another way I use the thieves oil is as a tea. And I absolutely really like it. I am not a hot tea drinker normally, but uh, a little drop, just one drop of um, thieves in your tea. And I like to also put it, um, put some honey in it and a drop of lemon and I drink it. It's like my kind of, I feel like it's just Christmas and a drink and I absolutely love it. So that's another way I use thieves. But again, I use it on the roller bottle on my feet every single day. My feet always smell like Christmas. Um, and then the other one I use that I have been putting in lately is oregano. Um, this one again comes both ways. Oregano is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's very spicy smelling. I um, mean, it took me a while to get used to it just because it is a um, very spicy and I don't necessarily like to smell spicy. <laughs> it smells like a pizza. <laughs> um, so this one is one I throw in my bottle with thieves because again, it's such a good immune booster. Um, it's good for, it's got like anti everything, antibacterial, antifungal. It can get rid of like athlete's foot, for example. Um, I use that on a friend of mine. I was like, hey, try oregano. This is a really good one for um, her husband's athlete's foot. And they got rid of it with, within a few days. And that was the only thing that's ever worked for him. So try oregano if you need anything with just an extra punch. But I'm going to warn you, it's a hot oil. So use carrier oil. My husband um, started using this and I told him it was hot and he didn't believe me. And he's like, this is really kind of hurting my skin. And I'm like, are you using carrier oil? And he's like, no, what is, what, why do I need a carrier oil? I'm like, I don't need that. I was like, try carrier oil. It works the same. It's not <laughs> and dilute it down. So please dilute your oils that are hot. If they smell kind of spicy, they're more than likely hot on your skin. Is it going to hurt your skin? Absolutely not but it is gonna tingle and that can kind of hurt. There's no need to be hurting. So just use a carrier oil and don't be like my husband who was so, so stubborn. Um, and another thing I like to do is use this in place of dried oregano in my meals. Um, first time I made spaghetti sauce with it, I put drops in it like an idiot. <laughs> that was the spiciest um, spaghetti sauce I'd ever had. So use a toothpick. So my recommendation is a toothpick from here on out. Um, again, I learned from trial and error and that was one not to make the mistake again. So I use a little toothpick and that's all you need. It goes a long way. Very little goes a long way. And I absolutely love it. Um, I have a lot of the Vitality line that I use in cooking constantly. And I feel that it is such a great way to boost your immune system while you're eating food that you're going to be eating anyway. So that's one that I absolutely love um, just because it has so many uses. Um, but again, right now, thieves and oregano, put them together and use them daily, especially if you're going outside somewhere. I absolutely love it. Um, so I am done. So I'm going to hand it off to Hannah. Hey. So tonight I'm going to share with y'all about one of my absolute favorites and it is Valor. I love it so, so much. I usually start my mornings with it. Um, to me, it's just, it's a very calming and um, how is it like a grounding oil. So I love to rub it on my wrists in the morning, rub it on the back of my neck and just breathe the scent in. It just, it really helps me to just feel like I'm ready to tackle the day and get things done without feeling too scatterbrained whenever I get up because I'm definitely not a morning person. But um, so I also love to diffuse this in my car whenever I'm going places because it does tend to help calm me down. I do not like to drive too much. So anything that I can put in my car that is super calming to me, I absolutely love it. And then 
my newest way that I have found that we like to use this oil is for like our neck muscles and our back when they feel strained or stressed or anything like that after a long day. I kind of stumbled across um, using it for that uh, about a week ago, I guess. I woke up and I guess I'd slept wrong and my neck felt like it was pulled. It felt like it was pulling down into my shoulder. You know, when you just wake up and you got like, you know, the crick in your neck or whatever. Well, I put my Valor on like normal, rubbed it on the back of my neck, wasn't really thinking anything about it. And then a little bit later, it's like, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. I don't have that pulling in my shoulder anymore. And usually if I wake up like that, I'm like that all day long. And so like, this is absolutely awesome. It's gone. <laughs> so I was super excited about that. So the other night when my husband's back was hurting, I was like, well, let me try this out on you. Let's see how it does for your back. Because <laughs> he has a lot of back issues from lots of hard work and previous jobs that he's had. And the jobs that he now has are very strenuous on him. So I usually put the pan away on his back, but I'm like, we'll put the pan away on, but we're definitely going to put the Valor on tonight also. So I rubbed his back up and down with the Valor and the pan away combined. And he is absolutely loving it. That has become a nightly routine now to make sure that we put the pan away and the Valor on his back because it is giving him is a lot more relief than why um, any of the other stuff that he's tried. So we are absolutely loving it. And another awesome thing is that the Valor comes in bar soap. I love the scent of this so, so much. Anytime that I can get more Valor oil on me or around me, I, you know, I've got to do it. I love it. So I definitely have to keep this on stock. My husband loves to use this also. And it lasts forever, it feels like, even with both of us using it. So yeah, definitely go and try this out if you haven't tried it. But um, I think I'm passing it off to Amanda now. All right, guys. So I know a lot of y'all are members, but in case we have a few guests on here who aren't members yet, if you've heard stuff tonight about these oils, these other products, and you wanna get them into your home, we're gonna walk you through the best way to do that. So the best way to do it is to become a member of Young Living. You can get anything from Young Living as a retail customer, but you pay full price. Wholesale members get a 24% discount off of everything. All you have to do to become a wholesale member is buy one of the starter kits. So the starter kit, just about everybody chooses to go with, because you get so much at such a discounted rate is the premium starter kit with essential oils and a diffuser. So this starter kit comes with 12 oils. You heard, I think, just about all of them here tonight. It also comes with um, Ninja Red samples, a Thieves hand sanitizer and a Thieves spray and a few other little goodies and samples and a diffuser. So you get all that it's worth over $400, you get for $160. So that is why, is it $165 now? I'm drawing a blank, $165? Okay, $165 now, we just changed it. So that, that's the kit almost everyone chooses to go with because it's so discounted. So here's the second thing to remember, is that we learned about those oils, but we also learned about a lot of other stuff, right? Like the Valor soap and the Progescence Plus and the lavender bath bombs and all those other great things. The best way to get all the other great stuff outside of the starter kit from Young Living is through the Essential Rewards Program. What this is, is it's Young Living's um, loyalty monthly fun box type program subscription. They send you a box every month. You choose what's in it. You can change it up every month. You get discounted shipping when you're on this program. You get access to all sorts of discounted kits and products. You get extra promotions available to you, but the best part is that you get a percentage back in each order and points that you can redeem for free stuff. So on top of your 24% discount, you're getting extra money back and discounts. So this is why we recommend everybody getting on it. 
a cool thing is that when you get your kit, you can click to join Essential Awards immediately and make your kit your first month's Essential Awards order. So that means you get your kit just like you normally would, but since you're getting on Essential Awards, you're also gonna get a free oil for the month and you're gonna get points back on your kit. So we recommend everybody doing it this way. And then bef next month, before you have to process or get your next box with more goodies in it, we have a Facebook group that you're gonna be added to. So you'll learn about all sorts of different products. We'll be able to walk you through what products you need to address, whatever body system you're wanting to address. We actually have a program starting right now with a Zoom on Wednesday and a Facebook on every Friday, learning about a body system. So you'll have tons of education to help you know how to use your oils in your starter kit and what oils or products you need to get to address your body next. So if you're already a member and you're not on Essential Awards, that's your next step. And if you are, if you are already got all that checked off, start making a list of these products as you learn about them. So you can decide how much you want each month and take advantage of those free products at all the promotional levels. And if you have any questions or anything, whoever invited you tonight, you can either put them in the chat right now or whoever invited you to not send them questions. We're all the leaders here who've been inviting people. We are more than happy to answer questions and help walk you through anything. So I hope y'all learned a lot and had a lot of fun tonight. And I think we're about done. And right on time, it's 8.30.